Hi, this is Drew Hill. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Cane Enable to crack passwords and sniff passwords. Okay, first what we're going to need to do is go into Google. Okay, and we're going to type in Cane and Able. Okay, the first link here is oxid.it, Cane and Able. We're going to click it. Here on the very first page, go down to Download Cane Able version 4.9.28 for Windows NT 2000 XP. You understand. So you're going to click on that. Box will come up. It says, Would you like to download? Yes. Download and install it. Y'all know how to do that. You're smart. Okay. We're going to click out of this now. We're going to actually open up Cane and Able. Now before you can do anything, if you just installed it, you're going to have to configure it first. Which wireless card you want. So you see we have three options here. Go over, see, all that stuff. Okay, to figure out which one you need, you need to go down to start, run, type in CMD for a command prompt. Okay, we're going to type in IP config, and we're going to go back to the very top. Now if you look here, you'll see IP4 address. That's this computer's IP address. Okay, 192.168.128. So we'll go back up here, click the same IP address we just saw, hit apply, and then OK. Now what you can do here, over in the decoders tab up here at the top, you can click anything like wireless passwords, whatever you want, click in this blue, I mean this white area over here and then up here at the top you'll click the blue air, uh, plus sign and what that'll do is it'll find all the wireless passwords saved to your computer and it'll dump them to this area. I'm using Windows Vista right now so I really can't do that without it crashing but you can also do that for internet passwords, mail passwords, uh, if you're on a dial up you can do that, LSA secrets, sometimes you can even get computer passwords from the LSA secrets. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the sniffer tab. And when you go here it will be blank just like this. In order for anything to work you're going to have to go up here and click this green microchip and that will start and stop the sniffer. Click in the white area again and go up here to the plus sign. Click it. And without clicking anything up here you hit OK. This will find anything on the system. See you can see my Wii here. You can see nothing really now everyone's off if you highlight all these right click and say resolve host name it'll tell you who everyone is this is our router these are two computers this is my roommate Wes and this is the Nintendo Wii okay now let's get to the good stuff you go down here at the very bottom to APR it's the radioactive symbol and again, this will probably be blank for the first time you're using it. If not, you can click, uh, if I can do it, right click. Oh, I got what I'm doing wrong. You hit remove all. Click in the area again. Hit the add button again. Now, I would suggest doing it from the router because it can handle more traffic. But if you can actually find your own computer on here or whatever, uh, it'll work. So you click router, highlight everyone on the right side that you want to sniff, and hit OK. Now what sniffing is, say you have your computer over here which you're trying to sniff, and you have the internet over here. Well sniffing sets you right here in the middle of that, all that traffic, and it just sets you in promiscuous mode, which means it tells the computer over here that, hey, I'm the internet, send all your packets through me, which are bits of information and it sends it right through and you read it and it goes out to the internet and it says hey on this computer you can send everything back through me and it will come back all the way through you and into the computer so you're reading every bit of traffic that goes through these computers the reason you don't want to do it wirelessly is because it could stop the router make it crash and you don't really want to do it on your wireless card if you can help it because it'll just slow down your computer Poisoning basically shuts down traffic 
because it makes it so slow. Everything has to go through your computer, be processed, read, and sent out, and back and forth. It's just, it's crazy. Okay? So, in order to start poisoning these computers, you need to go up here to the Poison tab. Start it. And you'll see it says Poisoning. These are bits of packets that are coming through and going out. Blah, blah, blah. You'll see half routing and then full routing. Half routing means it goes through your computer to the internet. Full routing means it's, it's sent back. Now what can you do with this? Well, you can go down here to the Passwords tab. You can click on HTTP. And let me remove all. And anyone using the internet, it'll tell you exactly where they're at. You see Mavoda, uh, that's RPG. You can see Facebook, someone in my house is on Facebook at this time. Uh, they're playing Sorority Life, which is a game on Facebook. Um, basically, you can do a lot of stuff. Now, say you're sitting there sniffing passwords or internet traffic and you actually do catch a password. Well, this is from my computer going out to an SMB server, which is probably, I'd probably say cams. What you can do is, it'll give you a hash over here, which is the encrypted password. This is my computer, my computer name, I'm the administrator. So what you'll need to do is you right click it and send to Cracker. Now you go up here to the Cracker tab, obviously, and you'll see the hash I've just sent over here. You'll see server hash and the L T, or excuse me, N T L M hash. You need to right click whichever one you want to crack, and you can do a dictionary attack, which will send all words in the English dictionary through it and see if it can crack it that way. Or, my favorite, it takes so much longer, but it's so much more accurate is a brute force attack. What this does is you can set up A through Z, 0 through 9, or any other special characters you want here. You know, stuff people might put through their password. Uh, the more stuff you put in there, the longer it's going to take. You can also say password length anywhere from 1 to, you know, usually they're no more than 10. And that will tell you how many key spaces it is, how long it's going to take. And you'll click start. Well, it'll keep going. It'll tell you the time left. Usually it's like four to eight days. Uh, tell you what password's currently on. Key rate about, usually it's about a million passwords a second. And this one isn't working, like I said, because it's Vista, but that's how you do it. If you find a password, you can crack it. It'll tell you within four days, usually. If you get a bunch of passwords at once, you can actually brute force crack them all, and that's a lot faster. That way you don't have to do them individually. Still takes the same amount of time, but you can get so much more passwords done. Let's see, what else can you do here? Um, if you have a wireless card, uh, it's a special one you have to buy. It's about $600. You actually don't even have to connect to the internet or to their wireless router. You can actually just sniff it right out of the air, which is handy because if you're sitting at a, a company or something, this is, this is kind of the black hack hacking. I really shouldn't be telling you this, but if you, if you sit outside of some companies and they have a password-protected... Uh, router you can just sit outside of it with your, uh, your your card and steal the packets right out of the air and that's dangerous but who really has six hundred dollars in college right um, basically that's all I can tell you right now there's other stuff that this thing is good for uh, trace route you can put in an IP address and it'll tell you what's coming in and going out um, Basically, that's it. So, there you go. Here's there's how to uh, sniff and crack passwords using Kane Enable. Hope you enjoyed it. And have a good day.